Warm greetings. This is Dr. Alex Martin, Professor and HOD, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry in KTN College of Pharmacy, Palakkad, Kerala. And I am here to discuss with you Bromination of Nitrobenzene. In Bromination of Nitrobenzene, we will first see the reaction and then we will see the mechanism. In the mechanism part, we intend to state clearly the product that will be formed. So let us start Bromination of Nitrobenzene. Bromination of nitrobenzene involves the bromination of nitrobenzene in the presence of a Lewis acid catalyst. Here I have chosen FeBr3 as the Lewis acid catalyst. The product that is formed is metabromo nitrobenzene. To understand why the product formed is meta -nitro, uh, metabromo nitrobenzene, let us look at the mechanism of the reaction. The mechanism is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. All electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions have three steps and this reaction as it is electrophilic aromatic substitution also has three steps. Step number one is formation of electrophil. FeBr3 reacts with Br2. Fe, Fe has actually empty p orbitals. Its p orbital are having unshared pair of electron, unshared electron. So it is able to accept electron from who, whichever molecule donates it. So here Br- donates electron to the empty orbitals of Fe leading to the formation of FeBr4- and the electrophile which is Br+. So now we have generated the electrophil. The electrophil of course and definitely would attack nitrobenzene. And why it would attack? Because it is an electrophil. It is having a positive charge over it. And seeing the benzene ring, it has got 6 pi electron. It would never miss that opportunity to attack the benzene ring. To get neutralized. But what happens here? There is one more group that is present here, which is the nitro group. Nitro group, if you are looking at N, it is electronegative. Oxygen also is electronegative. All these three atoms are electronegative which pulls the electrons of the benzene ring towards itself. That pulling of electron creates a positive charge on the ortho and para positions. Relatively, the higher electron density is at a meta position and therefore Br plus would attack the meta position only. And that would result in a formation of a carbocation. More specifically speaking, it, it would lead to the formation of a VLAND intermediate. A VLAND intermediate is a positively charged benzene ring. And now we have seen that a VLAND intermediate is formed. It is because Br has taken this electron pair. When Br takes this electron pair, the whole of the carbon becomes positively charged. This is a very unstable condition. The state of VLAND intermediate is an unstable state. And to negate that state, to get rid of that state and become stable again, in the third step, what happens? Proton gets eliminated and this pair of electron is restored back into the benzene ring. When this is restored back, when this is retained back, the benzene attains resonance as it was before. And the product becomes stabilized by resonance. Resonance stabilization reminding you that it is 35.8 kilocalorie per mole as compared to the hypothetical structure of cyclohexatriene. So that leads to a stable molecule. That is why meta bromon nitrobenzene is formed. I hope you have understood the session. Thank you very much.